be rainy, high, 60, low, 56. Have a great day, Portland! Today's lunch will be cheese pizza, pepperoni pizza, deli sandwich, broccoli with cheese, corn toss salad with dressing, mini carrots, applesauce, seasoned with fresh fruit. Have a great day. Have a great day. My name is Justice Anthony, and I'm going to read my book before. It's about, it's the book, the book is called Green As in Hell. I am reading Green As in Hell, and it's so fantastic book to me. It talks about Green As in Hell because some of it is trying to be the other side to eat the Green As in Hell, but he will not eat the Green As in Hell because he did not try yet. He just saying that I do not like I do not like Renes and Hill. Then he tried it. He liked it. He liked it scene too. He said thank you. Then they became friends, whatever, and he was still eating Renes and Hill. It was great. The beginning and the end. The end. Have a great day, Portland! <laughs> I'm Cicely Hancock, and I wrote a quality work book report. I read Junior B. Jones. It was a great book. In the, in the beginning, Junior B. Jones thinks of party ideas. She had good ideas. She She's really excited about her party ideas for the party. In the middle of the story, Junior B. Jones got started with making her classmates the cards. But when the day came, she was missing a card. She noticed that she made her own card for herself. At the end, she learned that first you need to look for what you need before you take it out on someone. Judy B. Jones learned that quickly. At first, you need to look for what you need before you take it out on someone. Judy B. Jones learned that quickly. So after that time, she always looked for what she needed before she took took it out on someone else. But great job, Cicely. Have a great day, Paul. Good morning, Portland Elementary. Today's Friday, December 7th. Welcome to school today. Today is an important day of remembrance in our history as the United States. Today is National Pearl Harbor Day. Today was the day in um, history that uh, Pearl Harbor was bombed by the Japanese, and that was the significant event that started our involvement in World War II. So it's a very significant date in our history because it led to almost the entire world participation in World War II and it also caused a massive um, damage. When Pearl Harbor was bombed, it caused a loss, a large loss of life and it caused lots of damage to, to the, the state of Hawaii. So it's remembered across America in most cases by people who lived in that time, but in some cases it's remembered by families who were impacted by that. I am actually one of those families. My grandfather was serving in the um, army in World War II, before World War II. He was just serving as a, po in po a post and he was um, serving in Hawaii at the time. He was actually serving his last day in the army on December and was due to be discharged on December 7th. And what happened was he was sent from Hawaii on December 6th 
to be over on the mainland in California so that he could complete his discharge. So he missed and was saved from Pearl Harbor just because of his discharge date. With this being Friday, it's a time to look back over your week and reflect. What did you do to show self-control this week? What did you do to control your emotions when things happened, both good and sometimes when they were bad or sad? What did you do to show self-control? Showing self-control helps us be successful, and I hope you were successful in practicing that week, that this week. Kids for the Prize Cabinet, Everett Carpenter, Ariana Kirby, Kimberly Miller, Carlissa Wells, Jacob Burt, Jacob Jennings, Michael Villapoldi, Armand Shepard, Antonio Brown, Ryan Lockamel, Braden Barksdale, Dilly Fitzpatrick, Haley Donahue, Jaden Compton, Jolena Matamoros, Terry Dupin, Kyla Branch, Terry Caswell, Demetrius Webster, and Davey Gibson. I'll see you at the prize cabinet. Everyone have a great Friday. in your classroom for the three characters. I promise to hurt no one. I promise to hurt no one. And what are our actions today? And what are our actions today? I use my hands for helping. I use my hands for helping. I use my words for kindness. I use my words for kindness. I include everyone. I include everyone. Through personal responsibility. Through personal responsibility. Having a positive attitude. Having, having a positive attitude. attitude. And giving quality workmanship. And giving quality workmanship. I'll be successful. I'll be successful. Have a great day, Portland. Please stand in your classroom for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the